Right, so here we have a little motor, electric motor, a model of electric motor. Um, you can see it's connected to a little electric circuit. There's batteries and the connections go around. You can see the motor consists of, on the right here, we have magnets. That's a magnet there. And there's another magnet on this side. And then you have a piece of wood in the middle and it's got wires wrapped around it in the form of a coil. And this little magnet works pretty good, pretty well. Let's have a look. You'll see when I connect the circuit, take the circuit here and I'll connect it to the battery. And you see the motor spins and it spins quite nicely. Now it doesn't work when the coil is vertical. So when this coil is in the vertical position, the motor won't spin. No matter if I connect it, nothing happens. But if I turn it into the horizontal position and then connect, take the connection, it spins. And it will keep spinning as long as the starting position is not vertical. If it's vertical, it will not move. Now if I connect it, then it's vertical, and I now spin it, I'll move it just a little bit closer, you can see if I now move this around, as soon as it gets to the horizontal position, it will spin on its own. So vertical, no force, no spinning, get it around to the side, and it will spin. And the reason for that is as follows. Let's zoom in a bit, see how close we can get this. and have a look at how this thing is actually made. And you can see nicely here that the coil, this coil has pieces of wire which come down the side. So there's a piece of wire down the side there, on that side, piece of wire there, and there's a piece of wire on this side. But there's no wire along the top. And you can also see that the connections on the side stand up straight. There's one on that side, and there's one on this side that sta so stands up straight. It's over here. There it is there. And those only make contact with these wires when the coil is horizontal. And that's why you get a force when the coil is horizontal. If I connect that now, it'll give you a force. But if it's in the vertical position, you can see there is no contact. There's now no contact between these wires of the coil, no contact between those wires there and this here, no contact at all. But if I move this around to when it contacts, and you'll see it'll jump back and then start spinning. And that is because this thing is designed so that there's only contact with the power wires when it's horizontal. That's when you have contact. Now I've disconnected. There's no connection at the moment, so it's not connected. But they touch when it's horizontal, and then they touch all the way until it gets to about there, and then it stops touching. And so from there, it just spins freely with no force whatsoever. The reason for that is when it's touching on the one side, one side of the quill, in this case the left-hand side of the quill, is pushed up. And that's because it's connected to this side of the quill. If that stayed like that, then when the coil got around past the vertical, if it was still pushed up, it would stop spinning and it would come back. But now what needs to happen is the coil that was being pushed up, so this one that's being pushed up, the one that's being pushed up on this side needs to push, be pushed down on that side. And in order to be pushed down, it must no longer be connected to the left hand side of the input, it must now be pushed to this side of the input, which is the opposite polarity. If this is negative, that one's positive. And it will then be pushed down. And so this function of this thing here is functioning like what we call a split ring commutator, which breaks the contact when it gets to the vertical position. It moves across the coil because of its momentum. Then it touches the other side. And now this side, which was pushed up, is pushed down. And that is how the motor continually rotates because it breaks contact when it gets to the vertical position 
and the polarity of the coil is switched, so the side that was pushed up is pushed down, and then the motor will spin quite happily. But like I said, there's no spinning when it is in vertical position because the wires are not in contact. But if you move it past the vertical, it'll spin. And that's our motor demonstration.